What is up everyone? Thank you so much for tuning back in for video number two of my Black Woman in Tech series, a series about my experiences as a Black woman in tech, navigating the ups and downs of this industry. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys. I think it's really important for us as Black women, as women of color, to share our experiences, to validate one another's experiences, and just to show that we are here and we're doing it. So thank you for watching. It means more to me than you know. Let's get started. In my first video, if you haven't watched already, I talk about my background story, how I kind of navigated and found my way into tech because I was not a traditional story of like, I was exposed to it as a young child and was always so interested in it. That was actually the opposite of my story. So make sure you check out my background story if you haven't already. When I found my first job in tech, I was just trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I was working at a nonprofit out of a startup incubator. And in the same incubator or building that we were working out of was a tech startup that was using computer vision and like machine learning algorithms to build a software as a service. So I was really fortunate to find out that they were looking for people to come in that they could train to help train the artificial intelligence model that they were using. So I just was like, okay, I'll try it out. I had no experience prior to joining this startup. I had no clue what they did. I didn't understand really what artificial intelligence was. I just knew that they said that they would train me for the position and that's all I worried about. So. I came in and basically what I was doing was what is called image annotation or labeling. And I was taking an image, labeling certain features that we were interested in on that image and feeding it into a computer. And I was going through tens of thousands of images every day and just feeding them into the computer after labeling whatever feature we were looking at at the time. Over time, the computer started to be able to recognize those features in the images in a similar way that we as humans would be able to identify them. I realized a few months in that this was a growing company and that I had opportunity to be exposed into different things and to get involved in different things. So I was like, I'm your girl. I'm going to do whatever you guys need me to do. I want to learn all that I can about how to build this company up and about what you guys are doing to make it work. And so didn't really understand a ton about tech but just knew that hmm, this there's something here that could benefit me in some way, something that I could learn. I jumped all in and what ended up happening is I became the manager of the position that I started in. So I built training materials. I became a hiring manager where I was, you know, interviewing and finding candidates to bring in for that specific position to help train our model. You know, I also developed plans and processes to make our team more efficient and work properly. I did like ran analytics on the data that I was getting back from the people on my team. And that was super interesting to me. And I think that was a huge perk about being in a tech startup was that I was getting experience in something that I had not studied, that I had no experience in. And I was just being allowed to figure it out as I went. I think that's something that a lot of people feel is a perk about tech startups is just you have the opportunity to be exposed to things that you had no experience in prior. I also think a huge perk about working at a tech startup was the opportunity to get involved in so many different things and grow in so many different areas. Because in a tech startup, especially when there's just a few people, you have to wear a lot of different hats. You have to do a lot of different things and be okay with not having a set job title or job description and you have to learn how to be very flexible and be comfortable with a fast-paced work environment that is constantly changing. The only thing that stayed the same during my whole two years being in that startup is that everything was constantly changing. One week didn't look like the next week. One day didn't look like the next day. Like we were always changing things up, trying to figure out what was working because we were very young and still growing and had potential to be very successful. I always joke and say that in the two years that I was at that startup, I got 
more experience than someone who was in a corporate job for five years. And I really do feel that way because in the two years that I was working at this startup, not only did I build up a whole department of people from scratch, from hiring, training, the data analytics and budget management, all of those things, but I also was able to be involved in marketing efforts, human resource efforts. I was able to do event planning and digital marketing, user experience research, and working directly with customers and partners um, in sort of a partnership or sales aspect. So I was doing a lot of stuff in, in two years, got a lot of experience and exposure to a lot of different things. One thing that I think was my favorite part about working at this tech startup was that the company that I was working for in particular invested a lot into the education of its employees. So at a startup, a lot of times when you're working there, you're doing something that has maybe never been done. And so you're just figuring it out as you go. And I was really fortunate to be at a company that invested in us learning professionally, learning personally and growing professionally and personally in our own journeys. I was able to get training on managing a budget, managing a team of people. I was able to take courses on, you know, how to hire, how to interview, finances and marketing. And this was also the place where I got introduced to coding, which I am so, so grateful for because there were classes that I was able to take and resources that were available to me that allowed me to be introduced to Python, which was my first coding language that I began to learn in. And this was where I truly started to get exposure in the tech industry and really what it all had to offer, like what was coding and really trying to understand how it works and what it's used for and what different languages are used for. Understanding artificial intelligence models and what they do and what they're used for and how they can help to advance businesses. It was awesome, right? So obviously all of that good and all of the awesome opportunity didn't come without its challenges. And in my next video, I'm going to be really breaking down all of the challenges, all of the low points, and just some of the negative things that I had to navigate through as I was learning and growing in this type of startup position and eventually what led to me leaving this company and the job that I was in. So that one might be a little heavy, but make sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss it. It will be dropping a week from the day I drop this video. So check it out. And as always guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.